we've kind of said that there's, there's more stuff that's going to be happening with the Sixers as we head through this offseason. May not. But um, it, as with the current roster construction right now, um, that's in place right now, what are your uh, expectations uh, for this team as we see right now? Um, and also the question is, if, if Doc doesn't get out of the second round with the current roster construction right now, do you think he's gone next year? Doc. Doc, yeah. Um, it will be some changes if this team doesn't get out of the second round. And it won't just be Doc. Nope. Nope. That's my opinion. And I, I, don't, I think that's the opinion of a lot of people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's the expectations has been the last few years of trying to win a championship or getting to the finals. And you're seeing the teams around you do that um, that are worst record, um, same record, and teams are doing that, and you can't get to that level, then, I mean, I firmly and, – and I don't think it'll stop at Doc if that's the case. I think the team could look totally different. Hmm. Past the second round, that's what we're speaking about, if we don't get past the second round. That's my opinion, that the team will – look different. Is there a chance, let's say we don't get past the second round, because everyone's hope is that if Doc doesn't get past the second round, the successor would be Sam Cassell, and you kind of do a run, kind of run it back scenario with Cassell at the helm, and then maybe have some few tweaks here and there. Do you think that's a possibility, or, or is it? I hope for Sam's sake. I hope he gets the shot. Um, I wouldn't know. I mean, it, it depends on, you know, I believe there are more to be safe, and it depends on how he views it. Sam, mm-hmm. um, yeah, but you know, I think Sam deserves an opportunity. Definitely, just don't know if it'll happen with us in this situation. Yeah, Dej, what are your what are your thoughts on that? Current expectations of the squad, and also um, if we don't get out of the second round with the squad. I think I saw the current over under for wins is uh, I think fifty and a half. Um, I like the over on that. I think we're gonna have a really good record this year. Um, I think this year is so much more heightened than last year because, yeah, we had Harden, but we gutted roster to get him. And, I mean, how much can you really expect from a team that made a trade two, like a month, two months before the playoffs? It's a lot to expect. But this year they basically kept everything good about last year and then added to it. So this year's just so – the expectations are so much higher. Like we have to deliver because you took everything from last year – you have another year, so that whole Harden just came here thing's gone. He says he's healthy. Um, took less money to bring on talent. We got our dogs. We got we got everything that we apparently said we needed in the offseason. Um, the one last thing I guess you can improve upon would be more structurally, I guess, uh, and balance-wise would be, and this would probably happen that next season if we don't get the second round, is a Tobias Harris for like multiple pieces type trade. But that's it. There's nothing else to really do for this team. Um, yeah, you can argue and say we can consolidate by doing a two or three for one to get either like a high volume bench score or like another legit like wing. Um, but yeah, this they should. The expectation is to get out of that second round, and I think they will have over 50 wins. Um, but yeah, it's it's. It's go time for them. It's it's like that 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 Butler season. It, this has got to be it. Yeah. So you, you both would be okay if this was it. We, we made no more moves. You'd be, both be fine with with the, the roster constructed as of right now. No no more trades. No more nothing. No more acquisitions. I mean, I'll be okay. I mean, I, I would think that you want to try to keep get better in, in some kind of way, but um, I'd just rather have it now than the trade deadline. Yeah. Yeah, full season. But you got you got that built, you got that built-in excuse if it does happen at the trade deadline. Yeah, we trade for a guy midseason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean trading for like a Gordon in midseason is a little different than trading for like a a Harden in midseason because yeah. well, also going into it now we're expecting to make such a deal whether it's like soon or at midseason we're like we're saving that. But I mean, a lot of people speculate that the whole Harden contract hasn't happened because we're maybe waiting to be able to tell him, hey, we need three more million allocated to this guy. And he'd be like, all right, fine, I'll do it. 
once he signs a contract for an amount, we have a definitive cap on how much we can spend on that other guy. So, because he if he's saying give me what's left, that to me says let us make our moves, and then we'll and then we'll, we'll run it by you to see if that amount's okay with you, and then we'll make the move. So that means we almost have to make that changing move right now and not the deadline. Otherwise, Harden's not going to be under contract. So he. If he's going to sign his deal and he's saying, give me whatever's left, then we have to know whatever has to be left. So it's like a weird catch 22 there. Got it. I don't know. I mean, well, hopefully we should see soon. <laughs> um, I want this Durant thing to get figured out so he can like have some movement. Yeah. Um, I, I also think them selling on Mitchell would help us too. Cause it would, you know, then at that point it's a real fire sale in Utah. They don't really give a crap about anybody at that point. Mm. Yeah. I can't see Mitchell. I mean, I can't, I can't see them going to that season with a team as is with the expectations they have this year, basically tanking with Mitchell. That, that's a disaster waiting to happen for him. Like after two weeks in the season going, get me out of here. Yeah, I need, we need to go. I need to go. Like this, yeah. is, this isn't happening.